अस्सलाम वालेकुम स्टूडेंट्स इन टू डेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस दैट सिस्टम ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन सॉल्यूशंस कैन बी डिस्क्राइब इन डिफरेंट कैटेगरी एज वी हैव डिस्कस इन अर्लियर मेथड्स बाय यूजिंग गॉस एलिमिनेशन मेथड गॉस जॉर्डन मेथड एल्यू फैक्ट्राइजेशन मेथड वी हैव सीन दैट आई द सोल्यूशन एग्जिस्ट और नॉट If solution exists, then solution may be unique or infinite. But now we will discuss another term that is consistent or inconsistent system. If solution of system of linear equation is exists, then we can say that our system is consistent and has a consistent solution. but if solution doesn't exist then we can say that it has inconsistent solution and this consistent solution may be of two type either trivial or non trivial now firstly we will discuss what is trivial solution and what is non trivial solution if system of linear equation is given if equation is of ax is equal to 0 then this system is called homogeneous and if ax is equal to b means entries at the right hand side is some values are either positive or negative then the, we can say that this is non homogeneous system of linear equation so we will discuss it for homogeneous and non homogeneous system of linear equation for trivial solution and non trivial solution if system is homogeneous means right hand side of the system of linear equation is always zero if it is zero then solution will be trivial if coefficient matrix is non singular mean its determinant is non zero and it's said to be non trivial if determinant of coefficient matrices is zero first condition is that if system is homogeneous then it depends upon determinant if determinant non zero we can say that solution is trivial if determinant is zero we can say solution is non trivial now now we discuss it that if this is homogeneous system of linear all x is zero and trivial solution always has a unique solution solution is said to be trivial if it is always have a unique solution but it's said to be non trivial if solution is infinite mean in one equation one variable depends upon the value of other variable then we can say that our solution is non trivial in trivial solution solution is always unique but in non trivial solution there are infinite many solution one variable's value depends upon the value of other variable and for homogeneous or non homogeneous system of equation if rank of augmented matrix at last after applying row operation is equal to rank of original matrix coefficient matrix then solution is always unique and is said to be trivial solution it may be zero zero or it may be any value 1 2 3 minus 4 but may always should be unique but if for homogeneous and non homogeneous system when we apply gauss elimination method or gauss jordan elimination method it if rank of matrix obtained at the last of the solution is less than rank of given coefficient matrix 
then one variable always should be the dependent on the value of other variable and this is said to be infinite solution and non trivial solution we discuss this whole discussion with examples that which type of solution is called singular solution trivial solution and what type of solutions are called non trivial solution so let's start if, with an example consider we have we have to check either solution is trivial or non trivial it is not given that solution is trivial we have to check that system solution is either trivial or non trivial and system is given as x1 minus 2x2 plus x3 is equal to 0 3x2 minus 3x3 is equal to 0 x1 minus 3x2 is equal to 0 as this is homogeneous system of linear equation firstly write it into matrix form when we write it into matrix form we will get coefficient matrix with its 1 minus 2 1 0 3 minus 3 1 minus 3 0 variable matrices are elements are x2 x3 x1 and right hand side value is 0 0 0 as right hand side is 0 so this is homogeneous system of linear equation and if it is homogeneous system of linear equation then it can also be checked by using determinant that if determinant of a matrix is non-zero then it should be singular uh, trivial solution but if determinant is non-zero then we can say that solution is non-trivial so we can check it with two methods but convenient method is that we have to check by using applying row operation or column operation so now write it into augmented matrix form firstly we will check it with augmented matrix form with ranks property or we can find it with the determinant property we can find it check it with determinant property or with the property of rank these two properties are used to check either solution is trivial or non trivial so firstly we check with the rank property write it into augmented matrix form we will get it 1 minus 1 1 0 3 minus 3 1 minus 3 0 apply row operation here 1 by 3 r2 we will get second row as 0 1 minus 1 and 0 secondly apply r3 minus r1 we will get first row as it is but r3 minus r1 this is 0 r3 minus r1 this is minus 2 r3 minus r1 this is minus 1 and this is 0 now we apply row operation as r3 plus r2 when we will apply r3 plus r2 this is r3 plus r2 this will be 0 this will be minus 1 this will be 0 and here is zero. from this it is clear that minus x2 is equal to 0 this implies that x2 is equal to 0 
this is first from second equation x2 minus x3 is equal to 0 as x2 is equal to 0 this implies that x3 is equal to 0 now from first we will get x1 minus x2 plus x3 is equal to 0 as value of x2 is 0 x3 is 0 therefore value of x1 is equal as solution of values of all variables involved in the system is zero and it is unique therefore we can say that our system has trivial solution so solution is trivial solution is trivial no, let we check it as rank of this last augmented matrix. Rank of this augmented matrix is equal to rank of given matrix that is 3. Number of non-zero rows in last matrices is, is 3. And number of non-zero rows in given matrix is also 3. Both rank is same. So, solution will always trivial. Now, we check it with determinant property. Now, determinant of A matrix that is 1 minus 2, 1, 0, 3, minus 3. And 1 minus 3, 0 will be 1 into... 0 minus 9 plus 2 into 0 plus 3 plus 1 into 0 minus 3 this is minus 9 plus 6 minus 3 that is minus 6 not is equal to 0 so solution is trivial. Now let we check that either solution is non-trivial or not with one more. Second question is that check either solution is trivial or non-trivial. As we have discussed that trivial or non-trivial condition can be checked by using determinant property or by using rank property. So, firstly, if system of given equation is x1 minus x2 plus 2x3 plus x4 is equal to 0. 3x1 plus 2x2 plus x4 is equal to 0. 4x1 plus x2 plus 2x3 plus 2x4 is equal to 0. Now, matrix form is 1 minus 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 0, 1, 4, 1, 2, 2. This is matrix form. As its right hand side is 0. So it augmented at a last of augmented matrix. This answer always will be 0. So let we check it. A matrix form here is x1, x2, x3, x4. And 0, 0, 0. Now, when we apply here row operation, and firstly row operation is R2 minus 3R1, we will get 0, 5, minus 6, minus 2. And apply R3 minus 4 R1. 
we will get zero. Five minus six minus two. Now applying R three minus R two, we will get that one minus one two one zero five minus six minus two, and this whole will be zero. Now it is clear that this is augmented matrix. and it is clear that rank of this last augmented matrix is is less than rank of given matrix this this is 3 this is 2 as this is so infinite many solution will be exist and solution will called non trivial so we can write it as 5x2 minus 6x3 minus 2x4 is equal to 0 and x1 minus x2 plus 2x3 plus x4 is equal to 0. So, as in these two equations, one variable depend upon values of other variable. So, infinite solution exists. infinite solutions exist and solution is non trivial now check it with the determinant property now determinant of this matrix cannot be fine because this is not a square matrix so it is not applicable that we can find determinant of this matrix because determinant can be find only of the square matrices this is 3 by 4 matrices as determinant can be find of the square matrices and this is not a square matrix this is rectangular matrices so its determinant cannot be find it trivial or non trivial solution can be checked only by using rank property and this is that how we can find solution and determine that either solution is trivial or non trivial and that's all about today's lecture